Hi Taurus, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing well. A couple things here before we get started. There will be an extended reading link below in the description box if you'd like to check it out. I do an almost personal reading of your person, what they're thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, and guidance. All right. Uh, lastly, I'll just mention that I am giving away one free personal reading each month. To enter my giveaway, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. Okay. I will announce the winner uh, the first week of every month. So with that, Taurus, let's get started. Your first card already dropped out here from the Kipper deck. Oh, wealthy man. All right. That could be around your finances, right? Or it can be somebody here in your life. Uh, and it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. Okay. Courtship. All right. It's feeling like love here, Taurus. And we have change. All right. Feels like a nice change here, Taurus. So let's... Uh, Let's pull your tarot. Look at that. I just noticed I cut the deck and the lovers popped out at me. Okay. All right. Gemini energy. We also have here, what is that? The high priestess. Feels like there's somebody here you may have a spiritual connection with. Okay. Whether this person's in your life or not, we'll see what the energy shows. Let's uh, shuffle here. I already did pre-shuffle. Okay, cards are already falling out. All right, we have Nine of Swords. Okay, we're pulling your recent past energy. You got the Nine of Swords. You have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. Uh, current energy, we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. And we have the World card. Very nice. There's definitely some sort of change, right? Here's change here, right? The last card I pulled and the next card here is change too. There's some sort of new cycle here that's about to happen. Some sort of courtship, all right? You got the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. All right. First I'll call out, we have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Actually, we have Earth, we have Air, we have fire and we have water, okay? But we do also have here strong Aquarius, Taurus, your energy, Scorpio, and Leo. All right, so let's look at your recent past energy. You have the Nine of Swords, you have the Eight of Pentacles, and you have the King of Cups, okay? I'm just going to say, Taurus, I almost feel here like maybe uh, with this wealthy man uh, energy here, okay, um, representing stability as well. I feel like maybe some of you may be worried about money or finances, so maybe a lot of, of your focus has been on career and money and maybe not so much on love, all right? Now, some of you too, um, if there's a specific person here, right, that uh, you're feeling in this reading already, I feel like it may be a situation where you're worried here, okay? Worried about... Uh, where things are with this person. I see the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Cups, okay? So I feel like you're worried maybe whether somebody here is really invested emotionally in this connection or relationship with you is the energy that I get with that, okay? I feel... Um, I might clarify this Nine of Swords. Uh, well, let's read the current energy first, okay? So the, really the worry here is around stability, whether it's around money or this is around a relationship or somebody here, right, that you have a connection with, okay? You have uh, the Three of Pentacles, you have the Three of Cups, and you have the World card. Look at that. That shows me here, it's coming together. Something's coming together here that's, that there's going to be some sort of change, some sort of cycle here. You do have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. And what I'm going to say really quickly, because you have the Queen of Wands and you have the Nine of Wands. Okay, and look at that. You have the King of Wands there. You have a pair. It's not about male or female. It's about the energy. Okay. I feel it's a situation here, Taurus, if you have worry about your situation, I feel like they're saying don't give up, okay? Stand strong. You may be feeling um, maybe a bit defeated here with this Nine of Wands, can be the wounded warrior, right? Maybe you've been through a lot here, all right? But I feel like they're saying here, you know, be confident, strong, assertive, go after what you want, 
uh, type of energy and I feel like there's something here about to happen, okay? Three of Pentacles here, Three of Cups, and the world, okay? I'm almost hearing, uh, Taurus, that... I know this sounds strange. <laughs> uh, this isn't going to be everybody's message. It's a very specific message that's coming in. I feel like for some of you, there could be... Uh, somebody here in your life where maybe things aren't public. Okay, I'm going to say in a relationship, things aren't public between you and this person. And I heard uh, Spirit is telling me that um, it's this is going to go public, right? Like you and this person announce that you're dating or you're in a relationship or you're engaged, right? That can be my engagement card, that three of cups, okay? This can be where you get clarity from somebody here that, um, you know, the two of you are dating, right? The two of you are courting here, okay? But for others, I feel here, if this is around money and career, okay, there's something here that's about to happen. Uh, it's almost like that energy, like you're going to get noticed, uh, you know, if you do some type of work where... You got to put it out there okay they're saying put it out there you're going to get noticed um there is some sort of change new cycle here that's happening this for some of you this could be like um also putting your 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 work out internationally i'm going to say as well with that world card um but there's something here i feel that you're going to be able to celebrate Okay, but it may be that you're having a hard time putting it together at this time. But I see here with the three of cups, you're gonna be um, you're gonna be working with other people here. Is what I get here. Now, some of you like maybe you're dating here, okay, and you find the one here. There's that courtship. Some of you, it's you know our work and career. You start socializing with other people, and somebody is gonna get your work out there, or maybe get you that job that you want. All right, but courtship for me, if it's not love related, it, you know, can be around consistency. You're going to find that consistency again, where maybe you were, you know, feeling worried, stuck, right? Uh, maybe not too sure, you know, about all your time and energy being invested in this. Okay, so there's some sort of action here that's about to take place. And it may be, right, you may need to take some sort of action, right, to get things rolling here. Okay, let's clarify. I'm going to clarify first what the worry is. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Taurus? Okay, this one wanted to come out. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so, and we have the Ace of Cups. I feel it's an energy right now. Um, well, not right now, but uh, it could be now. But in the recent past, there's something here where you're not feeling com completely fulfilled um, with your situation. Whether it's money, career, this has to do with love. You have the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and you have the Four of Pentacles here. So this shows me here there's been... Um, lack of consistency here in the situation okay which uh, you know with that ten of cups you're not feeling happy you're not feeling fulfilled okay now in the love situation here it may be a situation where you feel like somebody has been holding back they haven't been consistent maybe feeling like they're not invested emotionally in this connection or this relationship is what i'm seeing there okay i want to clarify um I'm going to start first by clarifying, gosh, what do I want to clarify? Three of Cups or the World card. Let's clarify the World card because I feel like this is like that new beginning, that new cycle, something changing here, you feeling on top of the world, right? It can be your energy too because this is your energy, uh, it, you know, one of the strong energies of this card. But uh, why is the World card here, please? Some of you too, this could be about travel. You could be doing some traveling as well. Let's see. Okay, Five of Cups, Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands. Look at that, yeah, the Queen of Wands there. 
Yeah, okay. This There's some sort of break um, through that's happening for you. You have the Hermit card, okay? This is getting ready um, for some sort of action to happen here, okay? Could be dealing with the Virgo. So I feel here, this is the end of a difficult cycle here. You got the Five of Cups and you have the Ten of Swords. So I feel in the recent past there was something here that caused you worry. Right? Something that caused you worry, something that was inconsistent. You know, I'm just going to say some of you, there could have been a job ending. Some of you, there could have been a relationship that ended, right? And it left you feeling disappointed and, you know, left you still kind of processing what happened, I get. You have the Queen of Wands and you have the Page of Cups, okay? So the universe here, I right, I feel... There's some sort of new opportunity, some sort of breakthrough. This could also be somebody here that helps you out, gets gets you that job. Like I said, like I said, social socialization socialization here too. Maybe you meet somebody at a party, or you go to some sort of network event, okay? Or you you know do some sort of part time work, or you help people. Something here is going to give you a breakthrough, a new offer here. Okay, when I feel it comes to money and career. But there's some sort of action you need to take. Like for instance, right, you need to do the networking. You need to get out there. You need to talk to people. Maybe post your work on websites. Whatever it is, it's going to be different for everybody. But with the Page of Cups here too and the Queen of Wands, I feel here Taurus um, too in love. There's somebody here who has interest in you. Okay, and I feel here there's somebody here you're going to start communicating with and, you know, it could be somebody here, right, that you dealt with in the past. Maybe there was an any, but for some, I feel like this could actually be a completely new person. This is what's changing, right? There may have been an ending in the past, but there's some sort of new beginning here. Okay, there's hope here, right? So let's see what the near future energy shows. What's this change here? What's the near future energy showing for Taurus? What can you show Taurus? What's the near future energy here for Taurus? Okay, seven of swords, four of wands, sun card. Nice. Oh my gosh, Taurus. Really, really nice energy. Okay. And bottom of the deck here is the Four of Cups. All right. Yeah. So the universe is bringing you an offer. Okay. The universe is bringing you something that could be really fulfilling in your life. Remember, I talked about that because we had the Ace of Cups, which this is the Ace of Cups, which was on the bottom of the deck. So in the recent past, there was something that you experienced, whether it's work-related, love-related, or another situation that was unfulfilling to you, okay? Now the universe is bringing something into your life, whether it's something again, okay, or it is something, it's usually something new, okay? But I also see the Ace of Cups as the wish card, so it could be something that you've been hoping for and wishing for, right? You may feel like there's other offers around you, but the universe wants you to look at this offer. It stands out. It's going to stand out amongst the rest. So that can be a clue to you if, right, you are networking, socializing. If there's that one thing that stands out, something stands out to you, they're telling you to investigate it, okay? It's kind of like in that face energy is what I'm getting because you have the Ace of Swords here. It's telling me this is an opportunity for a fresh start, right? For you to gain clarity, a new beginning here. Look at that, the star card here as well. Telling me here, right, that this is something that could be really balanced and good, I feel here for you emotionally and also an energy here of falling into place. And I just talked about the wish, right? Something here that you've been hoping for, wishing for, and it may just be either communication or that breakthrough that you've been looking for in your situation. Now you have the seven of swords here. Okay, change. Now it can be that you're needing to change your strategy, 
right? Whatever action you're needing to take in your situation. I also see this like, right, if this is around a relationship or love, this can be about picking up the pieces, right? Taking what you learned from a situation here in the past that looks like that brought some disappointment or, you know, some feelings. Um, I'm just going to say I'm hearing resentment or whatever the case may be. Picking up the pieces and moving on because I see here with the Four of Wands, okay, that stability that you're looking for, okay, whether it's in love, relationships, or career, or something else, it can be around family, but it's showing me something here really nice, everything coming together here with this Four of Wands, and especially too with this Three of Cups. I feel like there's going to be something here for you to celebrate, Taurus, and this is like my everything tied in a bow card, right? Everything coming together, and then look at the next card. I'm not gonna even clar clarify these messages because I feel that they're very clear here of what is upcoming for you. You have the Sun card here, strong Leo energy, which tells me there's a lot of potential, okay? So this offer that is coming towards you, that, that's gonna be kind of that in-your-face offer, I feel like there's a lot of potential, okay? A lot of potential for happiness, for fulfillment, um, and, you know, peace, joy, and happiness in your life, okay? And I feel like all areas, I'm, I'm feeling like all aspects in your life here, okay? So, um, Taurus, some of you, you know, this is going to be somebody here that you know already, right, that's approaching you when it comes to love. That is what I'm going to look at in the extended. So we're going to look at uh, what they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, intentions will be key. We'll get some love notes and guidance as well. So I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.